Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video today is about how to clean up some corners. I had a viewer or subscriber send me this, and in the PDF, the corners are, well, they're fuzzy, but they're sharp and clean, and when he traced it, evidently, they became rounded, and I'm sorry to say there's no silver bullet that I know of. I'm going to keep looking into it and make it maybe make this easier. But when you grab your shape tool, you can see all these extra nodes. So we're going to take this particular, well, and this is a two-part answer to his question. The second one is right here. He says he's getting these arrows, and you can see it when you're zoomed out more. But when you zoom in, you can see that those corners aren't perfect. So you just need to select that corner and right-click and close curve. And it gets rid of that arrow and it makes that corner crisp and sharp. But his other question was how to make all these corners sharp. So let's do zoom in here and you can see how this is rounded over. And like I said, this is no silver bullet. But just select all this. Well, I would do one letter at a time. And left click and turn them into a line. Because they were curves. And now you just need to go through here and delete these nodes that you do not need. So if you delete all the inner nodes, it becomes a line. Now when you get down and in here, it's a little bit tricky. And like I said, when you zoom out, you can see the nodes better. And then just hit delete. Now, same thing here. This node here, just delete it. Now you've got a straight line, but these two aren't perfectly up and down. So what I would do is take an indexing line and snap it to that edge, and you can see this one right here is off. So let's zoom in here, grab your shape tool, and just move that node to that line. Now, it is not snapping to that line, but you can go to Edit, or go to View, Snap To, Snap To Guidelines, and now when you move it over, it's going to snap to that guideline and be perfect. So, there's really no way quick to do this. You could go ahead and select all these and left, or right-click your mouth and turn everything into a line save you a little bit of time, but you would just have to painstakingly and see we've messed up the circle by doing that. So what I would suggest, let's try this. Let's set our nudge distance on. Let's see how big this is. <clears throat> it's 17 inches across. We only need, need to move it out of the way like three inches. So let's hit three inches. And let's grab our shape tool, select, and just select this circle and let's just move it out of the way for a minute. Everything else is square and round, or not rounded. So then you could go through here and take out all your extra nodes. Like this particular one is pretty good. There's an arrow. Right click. Close curve. And it's going to get rid of that arrow. And then you can actually delete that other line. And evidently it's, it, it's connected to something else close curve again and now you got rid of that arrow. Well you still have an arrow because that's actually a start and stopping point but it is, it is together now. So that letter well, let's just do the R for the video. We're going to see this is a hard one because it's kind of like right there in that corner there's no node. So what I would do is maybe double click and make a node there and then delete those other nodes. So now you got a corner and then go down to the bottom. Let's zoom in here. And the same thing here. There's no there's no node actually on the corner. So make you a node and then delete that one. And delete that one. Turn that into a line for sure. When you do that, you actually have to turn these other ones into a line to make that one a line. So now we've got a good crisp line. But you need to bring in your indexing line 
and have it snap to it. So this one's good. And then you would just do it for the other two parts of the letter. I didn't mean to go this far. I'm trying to keep my videos a little shorter. So let's zoom in here, get our shape tool, and let's just put a node like right there and then delete that other node. Go back and select both these nodes and turn them into lines. So now you got a good crisp line there. But see, we're, we moved it over a little bit. So this is where you would need to bring in your indexing line and then zoom in. So to answer his question, there is no, that I know of, no magic bullet. And that still is a curve. So we'll right click. This one here needs to go to a line. So now you got a good crisp line. And then you can just go through and delete, delete all these. So let's say we've done that letter and we've done them all. Now you can just select all those and cursor over back and put your circle back in there. So I'm sorry to say there's really no quick way to do it. You're going to have to go through and just do every one. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit and thank you for watching.